Hello everyone! Welcome back to Morrowind! Now before I begin, I've cleaned out a lot of my inventory, so there's a lot of potions lying around here. Don't worry about it, they're ones I don't need for various reasons. However, I noticed something when I was looking at my my, ugh, my inventory screen that I have a level up and I had forgotten about it because I derp. I'm gonna get some luck, some willpower, because that's a times five to my training still. And some speed so I can go fast. Now, do I have any more level ups? I do not. Good! Now, something to note about leveling up. The optimal way to do it is to make it so, you, so your minor skill... Is to train in your minor skills a bunch if you want to level up a specific stat. Like, I want to be leveling my agility and speed. So, technically, I should be doing things like level up... Like, oh... Going and tra having my sneak, or my unarmored trained, or my light armor trained, or my short blade trained, or my marksman trained. Stats like that. I should be training those, you know, off screen. I am not. And that's because, as I have said, I'm not too interested in purely optimizing this. Because a purely optimizing build involves a lot more running around. However, do keep what I said in mind if you, you want to do your own optimization. Okay? There are plenty of guys out on the internet for that. And as always, even for me, Google is your friend. Also, UESP.net is pretty good too. The unofficial Elder Scrolls pages. Let's keep going to our destination, ladies, gentlemen, and Fathagan. Another dungeon this close. We're soon. Okay. There's a lot of little dungeons out here. This is pretty usual for Morrowind. We're soon. The sun, I guess? Maybe. Sixth house base! Also, technically, I shouldn't be using my spear anymore because my endurance is maxed, but what the heck? It's. It's cool, and it and it means I don't have to continuously try and readjust my brain to the different light lights of when this has night eye, uh, when I'm carrying Illarok, and therefore I have night eye on, and when I do not. Ah! What you hit me with? Ring T, Dagoth's bosom. I got attacked by magical evil people tits. <laughs> Also, you can see reflective action there. Also, they do have a melee attack, they smack you with your face. But Ascendant Sleepers really aren't that dangerous for me at this stage in the game. Don't underestimate them though, they are wizards, they can hit like a truck if you underestimate them. Pretty much anything can. Okay. Am I stuck? Uh. All right, let's fly around and see if there's anything interesting back here. There's a dead man! You are a dead body. That means all you have is random loot and a steel staff of shaving, which is actually decent for killing wizards because it damages their willpower and intelligence, making their spells less likely to succeed and more costly, as well as nerfing their maximum magicas. So your maximum magicka, without any items that mess with it, and there are quite a few, is your intelligence. But, that's it. There, for that bit, let's keep going in deeper. Hopefully I don't dig too deep. You know, too bad that they're fanatics. Because, well, otherwise they probably wouldn't be fighting me. 
I have a club and a loincloth. I will charge this man with a very, with a very, I will charge this man in full armor with a spear. This is a good idea because I'm crazy. Just throwing their lives away. You're a snatch slave, all you have is your ass salts to interest me. Oh hey, bells! It's a pity the bells don't actually do anything besides make cool noises. You'd think they would. At least they look cool and lame corpus! Corpus? Yeah, Corpus, I think. No, Corpus is back in the Warframe. Corpus, yeah. I'll cheerfully take your bits of... I'll cheerfully take the weepings, which mean, which are chunks of your flesh. Rather, they're pus from your wounds. Because I can sell them for money. Anything interesting up here? No. That trout just had some Corpus meat in it. Corpus meat in it. Apologies, I play a lot of Warframe and voice chat a lot in it, so Corpus and Corpus are likely going to be mixed up a lot. But this isn't, you know, Warframe, this is Morrowind! Different gay! Does it look like there's anything in here that I can see? But I can take all the Corpus meat. Corpus meat. Yeah. Just in case there's something hidden below it, there is not. So, that means... I can just mix all the corpus meat together and get garbage. These potions will be completely useless for anything but selling. Let's see how valuable this random ass potion that I make is. Drain fatigue. 0.8 weight, 46 gold, drain fatigue 1 point for 3 seconds, and drain health 1 point for 2 seconds. As you can see, even with Grandmaster's alchemy equipment, 17 alchemy will not get you far. Doesn't matter how good your equipment is, it won't make a shit alchemist less shit. And I am shit. Not literally. But I'm pretty bad at it. But not literally because of some thing, some entities I ran into in a different game. Rather fakal in nature, shall we say. Alright, this was just a minor sixth house space, and you have the decency to summon a storm atronac at me. Which is annoying. Oh well, I killed things. That's good. Because they disagreed with me. This is obviously the way you solve all disagreements in life. Murder whoever disagrees with you. Two, two drogue. That means more chances of drogue glass. No, not two. Three. That's a lot of them. That's quite an unusually high number of drogue. It still doesn't eclipse the sheer number of skeletons that Fort Firemoth throws at you, though. Seriously, I think that's the most enemies I've ever fought at once in the game. It's kind of highlighting a weakness that the system isn't really designed for, for one versus army combat, unless you're a wizard. It's also kind of interesting that, you know, they took advantage of the whole fact that the system is designed for that to make a challenge even for relatively high level players like me. Also, something to note, archers are also pretty good at dealing with horde-type fights like what Fort Firemoth was, if you have the Game of the Year edition. This is because they added in some enchanted arrows that are basically... that, that are... Gah! How did that... Ugh. Apologies. My brain has fumbled my words. The DLC added in some enchanted arrows that have large AoE effects. Obviously the poison and frost ones would be useless, but the shock and fire ones would be quite nice. I think there's just some straight magic damage ones.
Your corpse is disposed of. Ooh, Shulk. Come here, Shulky, Shulky, Shulky. I'm going to stab you to death for your valuable, valuable resin. Also, the Shulk Firebite is a magic effect, so my Reflect does, in fact, work on it. Hey, a mud crab. Is it the mud crab that I'm looking for? No, it's just a diseased mud crab. One of these days, I am going to find that mud crab. But today, I'm going to find a Daedric Ruin. One marked on the map. Zot... Zang... Terraris. Zang Terraris. Okay. Also, yes, Ogre will wear on your things. Oh dear, there's actually quite a few days left. Yeah, one on one, I think I could have taken them with my spear without too much work, but I don't want to fight them three on one with a weapon that I'm not too good at. Especially as Illarok is only a dwarven spear at base, with no actual damage buffing enchantments. Wing Twilight! Wing Twilight! Okay, okay. Scroll of Psychic Prison. Scroll of Psychic Prison. Scroll of Psychic Prison. Target resisted. Fuck! Target resisted is the paralysis. Yes, it was! So it only resisted the paralysis. Wing Twilight's apparently resists paralysis. Close. I don't want to go with the next hound. I want to talk to the. the Wait, the gods! You tourists are a nuisance. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I, 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 I. Ah! Uh, I'm a tourist. How to respond to that? I, I think I'm just going to loot this place. No, apologies for that. My tilde key is right next to my escape key, so sometimes miss buttons happen. I would say miss clicks, but that doesn't really work because I'm not using my mouse for that. Hello. Oh God, Greater Bone Walker. I killed him before Cap got a spell off. Good. Greater Bone Walkers have lots of damaging attributes, though. Scrabbit Ruby Amulet's pretty good, Glass Longsword is pretty good, and Gold is always very good. Norkish Battle Axe is decent, but that's the only real decent thing there. We last caught some Raw Ebony and Standard Potion Night Iron. Who the f You have another Glass Longsword? No, you have an Enchanted Glass Longsword! That's better! Like, there isn't even a question there. Enchanted is just better. Also, Winged Twilights are actually really strong souls. No, no, bad let's player. <laughs> Sorry, I was about to make a terrible joke. As you can see, they have 60,000 value, a Storm Atronach has 30,000 value, and a Bone Lord has 20,000 value, and an Ogrim has 33,000. So, pretty good. I'm going to dump the Glass Longsword and take the Enchanted Glass Longsword on the ground to a thousand gold more. Because then I can sell it and more and hold off screen. Your suffering will be Really? What? I may never know. <laughs> yeah, it's just a generic combat line, don't think too hard about it. Also always check behind Daedric Shrines, they often have stuff. Red Death is pretty good. Tevril's Hawkshaw! Yes, I will take that after that bloody fuck up last video. Two locked chest. You have a demon katana. Demon katanas are actually really valuable at 10,000 gold. I'm not sure why. Your paralysis potion, gimme, 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 gimme. 
Lots of gold. Also a gimme, just not... Yes! Level of gimme. Because fuck paralysis. Just fuck paralysis. Not in the fun way. Just fuck it. So bad. Unless you're already using it, in which case it's great. Looks like this was a Shrine of Shale Gorath with some decent weaponry in it, but nothing really special that I can tell. The Ebony is all certainly cursed, but I don't want it anyway. But it's a test if the Ebony is cursed. For you guys. Yep, it's cursed. So let's shove a lump of raw ore into my mouth. I say 10 pounds of raw ore. Instantly. <laughs> I know I've got 120 strength, but god damn, my jaw must be ripped. Daedric Mace. Pretty good. Honestly, if you want to get a Daedric weapon or lots of Daedric weapons, Dramora are really good for Dramora Lords are really good for that. Um Wow, the Daedra already respawned out here. Three Ogrim! Okay! And none of them had a heart! Oh, the impression heartless were black shadowy monsters, not big fat... Whatever the heck those are be described as, big fat ogre things? Of course it's big fat ogre things, they are literally called Ogrim. Silly Let's Play Archangel. So I have what I need. Now there are many ways I could use to get back. The one I'm going to use? The fastest one, because I don't want to waste you guys' time. Sure I could walk all the way across, but bugger that. Hey Aryan! I just used to use the stepping stone. Wait, what? Bop. <laughs> Man, he must be so confused at how I keep popping in and out like that. Ow. Still, easy way to get in and out. Now I can start the stronghold building, which means that I will soon be able to ascend to the rank of master. Or, and this is what I want to do, ascend to the rank of Arc Magister. Also, I did some looking up, and something I'd like to do is kill the head of the Mages Guild. As it turns out, there is not a quest for that in House Delani. As I had thought. So, I'm going to be taunting him until he attacks me, as I really want the amulet he has. So because it is one of the very, very, very few items in the entire game with a constant oh, effect restore health enchantment. Let that sink in for a moment. Constant effect. Restore health. Yeah. That is what? good. You want to deny that is good? You are you are very, very silly. Your actions precede you, Outland. I've heard good things about you. I have my contract, yes, stronghold. Yes, here they are. I lost the contract. Construction on your stronghold will begin soon, JPG. Can I get promoted now? I forget. Twin lamps part of House Halau?
All right, I think I need to wait a week. Also, Larry Vero tells little stories actually pretty interesting. And if you want to find the crazy dreams, go to Sleepers Awake. It's actually pretty interesting. I think I need to have my actual stronghold completed, but that will take time. So what other quests do I have to do? Let's actually look through the journal. It's always good to give a look through the journal. Ah, yeah, it says the Imperial Cult because Ice Blade of the Monarch is an Imperial Cult quest. I believe you do it to keep the weapon, but you're supposed to free Adusami Asura B -b -b If you find her again, she'll give you her ring, but I have the amulet, so what the hell. I... Nope. 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 I'm insane, but I ain't that insane. Well, my character can no longer really be called stupid, what with having 57 intelligence as standard. <laughs> Alright. Let's go do the Larius Darrow quest. I have... Let me look. About half an hour left in the video, a little less. That's plenty of time. Now, this is the Fighter's Guild. They don't want to go to the Fighter's Guild, as cool as they are. Especially as they don't really want to complete their quest line, I mostly just want to use them for early coin. Their quest line oh, is pretty cool, something. though, don't get me wrong. You don't even like me, do you? Admire? Ow! What did I do? Try and grow for tits? Also, even if you fail with a bribe, you... <laughs> lose the money. It kind of sucks. I believe this is near where Fort Moon Moth was. Yeah, because Fort Buckmoth was up near Caldera, so this should be where Fort Moonmoth is. Oh, oh god damn it, I've got to dump my what? alchemical ingredients with the... Uh, yes, you're angry with me because I'm House Tovani and very important. Shut up. Shove your head up your own ass and die, lady. So little matters. So little time. I'm sure you hate me. Look at all the fucks I give. They're just lying around. Not giving a shit. Alright, let's sell you all these outcome of greens they don't need. Why are you buying pus, body parts, and soap? Is beyond me, frankly. Because a lot of these things are probably... Actually, I think some of them overlap. But still, Corpus Plus Load is probably hilariously dangerous. Like, probably regulated heavily levels of dangerous. 808. So I could... Let's take out the Load Soap. Goodbye! Thank you for, for paying me a ridiculous amount of money for random body parts. I guess you just want to have a heart. Well, five of them. What? Huh? <sighs> Some of the I fucking hate you lines can be pretty funny. <laughs> because of how they sound. Huh? <sighs> Sounds probably like a bird cry.
I could go through all my scrolls on screen and sell them off, but that would be kind of boring. So I'd say I'm a good bit lighter after the alchemical dump. Let's go talk to Larius Vero, if I'm remembering where he is correctly. If not, hey, I can just go to Caldera. I got legs and I got money. That basically gets me anywhere. Well, that and a good sword. A good sword will carry you a long way. I'll be getting better ones in Tribunal, and I think there's also a better one in Blood Moon, but the one in Blood Moon is also stupid heavy. It's 70 pounds. I can still swing it with one hand, though, because... Reasons? Whatever. Where's the Legion Fort? Odai Plateau, Hlaoad, Asher Baba Bubibi, The Dren Plantation, Hlomarin, Balmora, Balmora, Balmora. Yeah, what's this the route to that Dwemer place? I think this was the route to that Dwemer dungeon. It was, I'm going the wrong way. Looks like there's a sign over there, let's take a jump. That is not a sign. Give me a sign! <laughs> Alright. For a moment I thought that was a crossroads. Nope. Oh well, wandering's pretty interesting in Mario 1 too. Balmora, Plagiid, Caldera. Yeah, I never did walk from Sedanine to Balmora here, because, you know, off screen stuff. You know what? Let's just go wandering. Let's not do a quest, let's just wander. Let's see what's found. It's really the heart and soul of Morrowind, why it still sticks to me. You just wander. It works. You see that mountain? You can climb it. That didn't just start with, with Skyrim. That melee it can be a bit difficult to climb the mountain, but hey. Force feeling are really easy. Hmm. Well, looks like I found a day to try. But with a lot of wild animals around it. It's kind of odd. Usually, data shrines have a fair few Daedra. Speak of the devil? So it is. Well, Atronach, not devil. There were actually sucky by in, in Daggerfall. I know that because Daggerfall had an option of being safe for work or not safe for work. The not safe for work version removed the succubi because they were completely naked ladies. Oh, you're alive. Now you're not. Lots of stairs. Let's see where they go. To a door. Doors are good. Doors mean there is stuff. A sarnat ma. A sarnat ma. Probably not the exact spelling, but what the hey? It's close enough. I have you. I really don't think so, ma'am. So you do have a sword that buff a demon katana. Decent value is that Sermon 12. Do I have Sermon 12? 25, 32, 36, 6, 20, 1, 10, 12. I have 12. Alright. 
I need it then. I'm going to bet the Ebony is cursed, it's the only item there that isn't gold. Gold what? There is cursed gold in the in the uh not ancient database, but it doesn't work. What's a dwarven claymore? Meh, to me at least. Nothing behind the shrine, that's odd. Anything up? Not seeing anything, but it's playing combat. Oh! Hello, man. You had the shoot. Aha! That's why this is here. A sanguine item. Something to note. If you collect all the sanguine items, you get something very nice. It's not a very good spell, but this. It is, it's a spell that, while it by itself isn't very good, what it does is unlock a certain effect to use. See, remember how I said Elton Brand's Fortify Attack increases your hit chance? Normally, you cannot get that. Like, the warrior won't give you it as something to cast with if you're making custom spells. But if you get all the sanguine items, including the ones that are on non-hostile NPCs, you will never figure out without a guide or just mass murder. You get a spell of chameleon and fortify attack that is actually pretty cheap now that I think about it. Actually, I don't know how cheap it is, but I think it's reasonably cheap. I'm running the numbers in my head, but it's not spitting out too well. Let's see there. Let's take the stuff in here. Fiend Spear is also pretty valuable, honestly. The bound items, uh, enchanted items, are actually a pretty good coin early on if you find one, but they're also, you know, generally in dated shrines, and going into those early on is tends to be either very, very difficult or a flat-out death sentence. Also, once again, we prove that Daedra have no dicks. Bye. I'm a wondering. I'm a wondering. I'm a wonder, 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 wonder. Look, like there's a path over here. Let's follow it. Cause what the hell? So that's really the point of this episode. I'm just waiting for things to happen, both for the stronghold and for my journal to update with Fast Eddie's quest finishing, because both of those will be a journal update, I believe. Sure, I could nap for a while, but hey, that's just boring. Excuse me, Mark. Got it. Apologies, mosquito. Another species that, much like spiders, deserves to be completely wiped from the face of all reality. Looks like this is a path to Ghost Gate going by the direction. That'd be neat. Maybe in, maybe in the next episode, going by the time. I, I should have a wander around all the strongholds and see which ones I've poked and which ones I haven't. That could be interesting. After all, that is one of the big pieces of the Masterful Pylon Index. What's it in dice? I can never remember if it's index or in dice. I'm going to check, in fact. Index, yes, good. I think in dice is the plural. One index, two in dice. Oh well, it's the English language. Anyone who has ever tried to figure that out knows exactly why that tends to result in pronunciations.
can't walk through the ghost fence, by the way. Let me show that off. You can I don't think you can go over it, though, but I could try? What the hell? You can always fly black over if it turns out I can fly over. This has a really cool humming noise. can fly over it. I know you can't walk through it, though. So. Ow! Okay, can I fly through it? Because I'm not going to be able to climb at that angle. Nope, it is a wall! The ghost fence! It also sounds cool as all hell and has some pretty cool-looking faces on it. As there's three heads and the main... And the guys maintaining it. Well, two guys and a girl. Well, I'm not even sure sure if 5X a guy or a girl, honestly. Hermaphrodite, so. A guy, a girl, and a herm? Whatever. Point is, that's probably the Living Tribunal. It's not, like, confirmed anywhere, but I'm, like, 99% certain it is. <laughs> Let's look at the Tower of Dust, because we looked for the other one to go hunt down that shield. Not shield bow that smelled like ash yams or rails bow. So, let's look in the other place. See if there's anything interesting here. Bothersome creature. <laughs> I believe that is a pretty nice enchanted shield if I'm remembering correctly. Barter, faction members only. Well, fuck you too, I'm late not for the fun way. Hopefully somewhere away from you. Double fuck you and not in the fun way. Hmm. Can't pick the lock without getting seen, so let's just take a quick peek. What? I expected something more interesting. Not gonna lie. <laughs> so you, what do you do? You sell things, you sell booze and food. I do like that there's places just flat out are, yeah, we sell booze and food. I mean, it's not too useful, but it's nice, if that makes sense. It all just, yes, this is a world beyond running around stabbing anyone who now. disagrees with you. Also, this person ha has another enchanted, and it's another item that should be a massively powerful enchanted artifact, but is just a pretty decent item, a rail shield. They're carrying it. It's pretty decent. Also, there's quite a bit of glass armor on this person over here. Filthy so, sweat. and also they have one of the few Daedric helmets of the game. And for some reason, some ebony bracers, it looks like. Honestly, they're a very strange build. I murdered them to show their exact items in Sermon 14 and 15. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. It's gonna be hard. <sighs> Alright, let's read The Hope of the Redder. This is a cool book. Mm. Alright. One of the few magical arts the Sidics of Arteum have kept to themselves, away from the common spells in the schools of the Mages Guild, is the gift of divination. Despite this, or perhaps because of it, omens and prophecies abound in Tamriel, some of substance, others of pure folly, and still others so ambiguous as to be unverifiable. There are still other prophecies kept secret, from the prophecies of Drodijad and elsewhere, and the Neverine and Morrowind, <coughs> me, <coughs> to the Elder Scrolls themselves. And yes, there are items called the Elder Scrolls, it's not just the name of the series. The North nobility have a tradition of having omens read for their children. In general, these readings have the obscure variety. One of my acquaintances told me that her parents were told, for example, that their daughter would have her life rescued by a snake, and so gave her the name Serpentkin in a special ceremony. This young lady, Aria Valcor Serpentkin, was indeed saved by a snake many years later, when an assassin creeping on her stepped on a Dan's Weirm Viper. 
Occasionally, omens seem to be almost purposely misleading. As if Boethia had crafted them as traps. I recall one particularly. Many, many years ago. A male child was born to House Rhetoran. It was a very difficult birth, and the mother was delirious and near death by the time it was over. She chanted just as her son came into the world, and she passed from it. Fortune has smiled this day, not frown. My child will be mighty in mind and arm. He shall bring hope to House Rhetoran. Neither splay, spell nor blade shall hurt the man, nor illness nor poison cause any harm. His blood shall never drop on the ground. <clears throat> the boy, named Andes, was indeed extraordinary. He never was ill, and never suffered so much as a scratch through all through his childhood. He was also quite intelligent and strong, which, combined with his own invulnerability, caused me to call him, after his mother's omen, the Hope of the Rhetoran. Of course, anyone who is called the Hope of the Rhetoran will eventually develop some taint of impertinence, and it wasn't long before he had enemies. His worst enemy was his cousin, Athen, who had borne much abuse at the hands of Andes. Primarily among the grudges was that Athen had been sent to Rihod to complete his education and Andes' insistence. When Athen returned from Hammerfell, it was because of the death of his father, who had also been a counselor of the house. Athen was old enough to take his seat in the council, but Andes claimed the seat as well, saying that his cousin had been gone too long for Morrowind and didn't understand politics as he did. The majority of the house agreed with Andes, wanted to see the hope of the Rhetoran rise quickly. Athen exercised his right to combat his cousin for the seat. No one thought he had any chance of winning, of course. The battle was scheduled to commence the following morn. Andas warred and dined and drank with the counselors that night, confident in his place that the house was secured and the hopeful new dawn of House Rhetoran was rising. Athen retired to his castle with his friends, Andas' enemies, and his servants he had brought from Hammerfell. Athen and his friends were discussing the duel morosely when one of his old teachers, a warrior called Shardi, came into the hall. She had gra grown quite proud of her student over the years in Hammerfell, proud enough to accompany him across the Empire to his family's lands, wanted to know why they had so little confidence in the battle. They explained to her and asked his uncommon blessings and the nature of his mother's omen. If he can't be harmed by disease, poison, magicka, and his blood can never be spilled, what hope have I of ever besting him? cried Andes. Have you remembered nothing I taught you? replied Charty. Is there no weapon you can think of that will slay without blood? Are swords and spears and arrows the only items in your arsenal? Athen quickly realized the weapon Shardy was speaking of, but it seemed absurd. Not only absurd, but pathetic and primitive. Still, it was the only hope he had. All that night, Shardy trained him in the art and techniques showing him the various swings and stances her people had developed in Albi and Gora. Counters, feints, and blocks imported from Yokuda. The classic one and two-handed grips for, for the most ancient weapon in history. I wonder if you guys know what this is. The cousins faced one another the next morning. Never have two combatants look so unevenly matched. Andus' entrance brought a great cheer, for not only was he much beloved as the hope of the Rhetoran, but as his victory was a foregone conclusion, most wanted to be in good standing with him. Suck ups! His shining mail and blade drew admiration and awe. By contrast, Athen drew a gasp of surprise and only a smattering of polite applause. He appeared costume and armed, like a barbarian! If Shardy had suggested, Athen allowed Andas to attack first. The hope of the Redren was eager to finish the battle and take the power he deserved quickly. The blade pushed by Andas' mighty arm slashed across Athen's chest, but shallowly. A and before it could be counterswung, Athen knocked it back with his own weapon. When Athen attacked the wounded Andas, the hope of the Redren was so surprised by being hurt for the first time in his life, he dropped his sword. The less said about the end of the battle, the better. Suffice it to say that Athen, wielding a simple club, battered Anthus to death without spilling a drop of blood. <laughs> 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 
Athen took his father's seat as counselor, and it was then said that the hope and the omen referred to Athen, not Andes. After all, had Andes not tried to take the counselor's seat away from his cousin, Athen, being not very ambitious, might have never tried to get it. It can certainly be argued that way, I suppose. I really like that story. It is one of my favorites in the game, just because... It's such a simple solution. You can't cut him, you can't poison him, you can't magic him, he can't bleed. So beat him to death with internal organ damage. It's so simple. I love it. It's a great example of prophecies being both lies and truths. Also going to see if I can steal those sermons of Vivek, because damn, I want all these things I can get. But save first in case I, you know, piss off everyone. Because that'd be bad, you know? Now you die. <coughs> Excuse me! I was trying to talk and that came out! Alright, I think I'm going to have to get them somewhere else, or I'm going to have to spam Chameleon, but I think I'm going to try to get some somewhere else. If it turns out this is the only place Sermon uh, 15 and 14 spawn... 14 is apparently a spear skill. 15 is an unarmored skill. I wonder. Nope. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna reflicker through the books. I think we'll leave it off here. Next time, I think I'm going to go exploring inside the ghost fence. I don't think you're not supposed to do this until you, uh, finish the whole Hortator Neververine thing, but I've been going a bit slow on that. The other option that I've been strongly considering... now. And I do mean very strongly considering, is going off to a place called Iberdod. It's a very, very, very useful place to go. Simply because it has one item that I very much want. From on out there, I thought the game had glitched out. Thankfully not, otherwise I'd have to re-record all of this. What is it with these thick-headed outlanders? Who are you? You don't even like me much. Probably because of the whole Nerevarine thing. You train? What do you train in? Athletics, block, and long blade. You can't teach me anything about athletics. I don't what care too much about block. And you, and no one can teach me anything about long blade. I'm not being and ass style arrogant here. I am legitimately unable to be trained further in long blade. Also, this guy does always have a glass jink blade and some a full set of glass armor. So this place is pretty good. Probably because the boy and armagers generally like to wear light armor. What is it with these? Yeah, so there's a full set of chitin if you're, you know, not rich enough to go. Glass armor, yoink. You can also, of course, murder him in here quietly, take all the glass stuff and leave. You can get away with it. I'm late for an appointment. Hopefully somewhere away from you. I'm late for an appointment. Hopefully somewhere Someone away from you. Someone already told me that. It's funny how everyone in House Redoran seems to be late for appointments. Do they have, like, a house-wide issue with timing or something? Because I'm not the best at time, but I'm pretty sure that an entire house doing that is very strange. Yes, I know, they're just being dicks. <laughs> what hole did you crawl out of? A vagina is the general one. Bothersome creature. Also, another person with ebony bracers, a, a powerful Daedric helmet, and glass armor. And another one. Bothersome creature. Hmm. That's odd. This chest is uniquely named. I'm gonna save and poke it. No, I don't want to load. I don't want to load. Let's take a look, she, shall we? Absolutely nothing. Whatever it is. Well, I mean, he's I a guy, so I suppose having nothing in his chest makes sense. It's generally women that have things in their chests. Leave me. Let's see what's through this door, because picking it would get me in a lot of trouble. Another Go man ahead. in glass armor. And a hundred locked door. This man trades spear, long blade, and block. 
You know, what's through this door? I don't gotta take anything in here, even if it's amazing. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. The amulet of UG shop. Oh, someone else. And some ebony equipment. An ebony staff, a lot of valuable potions, an ebony longsword, and an ebony short sword. Damn. A shield of wounds, a helm of wounding, both Dwemer armor. Ebony mace, glass frost sword, glass fire sword, glass poison sword, glass storm sword, glass jink blade. A nameless buoyant armager. Damn. I think I found the armory of the ghost gate. A glass blade of all the elements. A lot of chests. Oh, well, let's say if I click on them. Gold. 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 So they're all full of gold. Chests of gold and like one buoyant armature and some locks in the way. Also unique amulet, because I think the amulet of Yujisha is actually an important thing. Some pretty nice res restoration potions too. Well, that was a pretty interesting exploration episode. Well, partly exploration, partly, you know. excuse me, I don't have time for you right now. Partly just mucking about. Well, not mucking about, damn it, brain. This episode is partly exploration, partly... Just looking at the cool stuff. Everyone's got lots of cool stuff. I like cool stuff. Also, you can go between the towers. There's a lot of shrines here, some of them are good. Have really strong blessings. Some of them have meh blessings. Faction members only. Go what fuck yourself. You You're not the type I like to deal with. That means that I can actually trade with him. Quality or store hells are always pretty good, but I think I have enough of them on me. Do you have any good spells? That would have actually been very useful with Corwin. Father's Hand is a it's actually an interesting spell, because while it does give 1 to 40 points, and 40 points of Sanctuary is very good for 5 seconds, it's only 5 seconds, and it's very, very randomized. I do like the name of the ordeal of St. Olms, that's pretty cool. Rally spells I have yet to find any use for in actual combat, though. Maybe that's just me, but I just haven't found a use for them. Sorry. <laughs> Saintly touch is pretty decent, but I don't fight. But my method for fighting undead isn't so much. Why do you run away? You uh, make them run away as I have a sword and you have an ugly face. Ugly, ugly face. You have a very ugly face. <laughs> you still like me quite a lot. Do you sell any of the standard potions of invisibility that I need? Lots of disease resist, though, but I don't care because I have corpus. Also, technically, people should be going, shit, 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 he has corpus, run away, run away, run away from me, or similar things, because, well, corpus is incredibly nasty. Everyone but the player character, sure someone else you can and Yagrim Bagarn, who gets very special attention from the most powerful wizard in the game, is, you know, turned to a horrible, monstrous gribble. Oh, by the way, if an ordinator sees you wearing the Endoral Helmet or or Karias, they will, all ordinators will immediately be no permanently to hostile to you. No oh, exceptions. And murdering the, all the guards in the entire setting is possible, sure. It just take a while. Do I have Sermon 21? Well, I couldn't take it even if I didn't, frankly. Which is a pity. Uh, this is actually looking a bit longer than I anticipated. Oh well. Let's explore the rest of the ghost gate. So what the hell? Anything interesting here? The Wolf Queen Book 2. Skill book, one that I've read. The Blue Book of Riddles. <laughs> Doesn't even give you any riddles, it just says that they're that they basically have riddles to make themselves look look smart. 
You're not the type of like to deal with. That means I can bribe you into dealing with me. No. Most people cannot, in fact, be bribed into- Hello, nurse! Hello, nurse! An ebony tower shield! Ebony tower shields have the exact same weight as a normal ebony shield, and the exact same armor rating, and the exact same condition. They're simply more valuable. I actually have been wanting to point that out for a very, very, very long time. But I haven't had the opportunity to. But now I can. And I did. So, yeah. Watch it. Also, the water spear is kind of annoying because while it's 100 seconds of water breathing, it's only activated when you stab something, so you need to stab something for that to happen, you know? See if there's any amazing... Scrolls of Restoration are pretty good, I guess, because of the magic to restore. Salen's Vivification isn't actually good for curing paralysis because you can't cast spells while paralyzed, so that cure paralyzation on self thing is complete garbage. Ninth Barrier is really strong, but the poison can sting a bit. Warrior's Blessing. These are actually really, 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 really rare. They're huge health restoration, though, so I'm going to take them with, with quite a lot of happiness. In fact, don't you have a useless ring, an extravagant ring? Yes, I do. do you have, oh, 1,400 gold. I was going to sell her the glass fire sword, but... Nah. Will you buy alchemical ingredients at least? Nope. Let's go through my scrolls so you can see what I want and don't want. I actually don't want the scrolls of Baleful Suffering, because they're not actually that good at dealing with things. They're going to make enemies run away, but they don't actually deal many combat useful effects. Blind and Burden are the only real good ones. The Syndicate won't do much to anything with actually significant stats. <laughs> damage health is good. Damage luck isn't so much. Damage intelligence I don't care about. Damage personality is literally useless in combat and will actually get you attacked if you try and use it on a person. Damage strength is actually pretty decent. Dispelling is good. I want to keep Blight Disease here just in case. Breathing Water is good. Charming is good. Damage is good. It catches Lock Splitter is amazing. Program Stite. Meh. Ferrer's Lead and Flesh, I suppose, can be okay. The Flame Blade Scroll is pretty good. The ability to just fire more is good. Weakness is okay. Commanding spells actually aren't all that good. Draining their luck is very useful. Draining their intelligence, draining their personality. None of those are good. Draining agility can be okay. Draining strength can be okay. Hellfire is great. Carrying flight is stupid, rare, and good. Ilnea's breath is amazing. There's lots of damage and paralysis. Shock damage is great. TK can actually be far more useful than you'd think, because while it only lets you pick up items from far away, that can be amazing. Actually, I might be able to use it to get those sermons I didn't have. Scroll of League Step, I haven't. An amulet does that. I don't want the scrolls of lesser domination, so I explained. Scrolls of Mage Wheel are very, very good if you're a mage. Mana Rape is great. No, I'm not saying rape is great. Fiction thing. Please. Exceptions, etc. etc. Royal Death is pretty good because it absorbs health, which means that you get health and they lose health. I don't think I need to explain why that's good for anyone here who can do anything vaguely resembling mental math. Water walking's great for that long. Paralysis, great. Shock bang, great. Resist shock, great. Lightning shield, great. Pretty much every summons thing is great. I can't sell her the scroll of supreme domination, because that's the strongest one in the game. Demoralize is not that good. I'm keeping the detect key. You guys know why if you watched the last few videos. <sighs> The shield spells I'm keeping. Luck's actually pretty good to buff for yourself. Keeping the enchantment one just in case I have a similar thing to the key thing. Shields are good. Jumping is good. Rally is crap. Reflect is good. Reflect is good. Charm is good. Restore fatigue is good. Restore health is good. Warrior's blessing. I bought some of those. They're so good. Windwalker and Windform are literally the exact same thing. Just for some reason, Windwalker's way more valuable. Don't ask me why. I don't know. Let's get a little extra gold out of here. There we go! Leave me. Alright. Let's look in here. Anything interesting? There's a locked chest, but you... 
Oh, I was about to say, you can't see me! And then there was an ordinator. What? And what? Well, someone who's, who, who's dressed like one, which means they're probably actually one. The rear guard! Light armor! Could try and lockpick and make sure they don't see through a wall, but I don't want to gamble on that and get shanked. Oh, come on, leave me alone. Go. I just sold you a bunch of very no. valuable magic items that were, were probably very bad prices because you don't even like me. If you whine again, I will stab you. Thank you, Ordinator, for moving. Now I can pick this lock with no one caring. Also, I can take that vault key without any issues. And steal your gold. Because now there's no one in this room. Let's see what's in this vault. A pissy ordinator. Watch yourself. We'll have no trouble here. Ebony pauldrons, an ebony tower shield. Some restoration potions. Gold chest. Another gold chest. Some chests of shitty weapons. A chest full of bone mold. Chest of shitty weapons. Chest of nothing. Some chests of minor alchemical ingredients. Nothing too much to worry about, but it is good to know that that key is there. The key won't work on the Tower of Dusk, but hey, it means that I meant that I didn't have to burn any lockpick. Durability. Because I gave you a ton of coloring, you absolute cunt. What? And why? Why does everyone insult me? Okay. Let's bribe you and see what you sell. Potions. None I give a fuck about. Spells. Strong Fire Frost and Shock Shield. That's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Let's get Regenerate. Regenerate's a good one because it's easy to cast. So I can probably cast it fairly reliably and it's cheap. Plus, you know, Regeneration means long-lasting effects means that I can cast them at the start of battle then go... Stab it, itty, stab, stab, stab it, itty, stab, stab. Look at the stab it, itty, go. Stab it, itty, stab, stab, stab it, itty, stab, stab over the ashen hills. I would say hills and snow, but that's for Skyrim. Ah. Uh. These people up here are probably not bandits on the grounds that I doubt bandits would be close to the ordinators. No, a lockpick is a bad weapon. Well, I suppose you could actually jam a lockpick into someone's eye. They, it is a long, thin piece of metal. It tends to be pretty ouch if it gets jammed into something sensitive. And then bleed them to death, maybe? What's your background? You're an issue to the Ashlanders. You're Ashlanders. That's interesting. Nope, I'm not discussing that topic. Goodbye, goodbye, okay. goodbye, goodbye. Awkward conversation. Mostly because of real life. Okay, I think we'll leave it off here. Next time, I'm either going into the Ghost Gate area or going to find me in the closest place that I can get to, to Ebar Dodd, because I really do want the item there. It is a very good item. It is indeed an artifact item and an artifact heavy armor item at that. I do not believe I need to explain why I want an artifact heavy armor item after. Because, you know, the others I have are the Fists of Rangadolf and the Helm of Orin Bearclaw. Tenpei's boots are also pretty decent, but I don't like the fatigue draining. It does drain 600 points of fatigue overall, but eh. Anyway, let's leave off the episode here. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please do leave them in the comment section below or in the threads linked to the description on Space Battles and Sufficient Velocity. I do listen to these things, guys. <laughs> and I will respond if you, you know, ask something. Just, you know, ask. I cannot answer questions that are unasked. And I cannot respond to requests that are not given. If I could, I'd be a very, very rich man. Goodbye.